A three-year study of mule deer on the Wyoming range of western Wyoming resumed this month with the eventual goal to help researchers understand why populations of mule deer in the region are not reaching population goals. The study is part of the Wyoming Mule Deer Initiative, a joint effort between the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and the public to address declining mule deer numbers in Wyoming. The Game and Fish and University of Wyoming, with funding from a range of government and conservation groups, began the study in March of this year, capturing, radio collaring, and collecting pregnancy rates and body condition data on 70 mule deer does to understand why more does are not carrying funds to term. This month, researchers recaptured the deer caught back in March to essentially update the information. Game and Fish biologist Gary Fralick. This finally is going to answer many of the questions that we've had over this population's ability to sustain growth over time. And with the information that we're collecting on body condition, pregnancy rates, fetal rates, and development, we'll answer those questions that we've been trying to determine uh, why this population uh, has been unable to sustain growth over the last uh, 15 to 20 years. Uh, we're pretty confident that a lot of this is related to habitat conditions on the winter ranges, but we also believe that there could be some other factors that we hope to address and understand. And that's where the GPS radio collars come in. The factors mentioned include seasonal movements. Some deer migrate as much as 170 miles from summer to winter ranges, but also the condition of summer and winter ranges. Another question, how long these deer stay in transitional habitats, the stopover points during migration. We're still looking at two more years of capture events, so we'll have up to three years of information to compare over time from the same animals, and uh, that's the whole idea behind uh, radio collaring one animal and then following that animal over the next three to four years uh, and looking at how the, the variation that might occur from the spring migration through the summer and then back to the fall migration. Obviously, some animals won't make it three years, so those radio collars are located and information on them downloaded. Additional does are then captured and given collars. The study resumes with another capture this spring. The causes that influence deer populations are complex. Researchers are confident this study will help them understand those reasons with the goal of improving populations of the Wyoming Range mule deer herd. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.